Oh, and I just want to mention again, our micro tools are really going to come in handy here. It's very important to keep these sharp as well. Sharpening is a bit of an art in itself. So I encourage you to read up on proper ways to sharpen your blades. I use an aluminum oxide paste, which I get at my local carving supply store. And I put a bit of that on a leather strop. And I sharpen my tools that way. With the tips of our pine needles, I want to angle them down again to give us a sense of roundness. Be very careful here. This is the delicate work. So now we have our pine needles carved out roughly. Right now what I want to do is start blending the carving in to the rest of the cane. And then we're going to go in and finish up the detail on the crow and the pine cone. Also this handle is a little bit too thick, so I want to shape this as well. So here we have the border kind of blended in with the rest of the cane. But you know what? I don't like it. It's making our cane top look too big and bulky. It sometimes happens. You know, something looks good on paper, but when you put it into practice, it doesn't look quite as quite the way you want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. I want this crow to sort of blend in with the cane. But I just don't see that happening with this. go in and we do our pine needles here. We're going to add a few more. And we're going to wrap them around the top of the handle here. So my apologies to those of you who have gotten frustrated with me because now they have all this extra work to do. But As I said, now you know how to make one with a border. If you didn't know how to before, 